Hey, it's Eric Osnes with Homebridge Financial with my weekly update on the markets for mortgages here on the week ending January 14, 2022. Well, don't plan on getting a bargain price on a foreclosure sale anytime soon. I've spoken with many clients recently who tell me I'm going to wait to buy until the housing market crashes. Then I'll find a good deal on a foreclosed property or a short sale. And I've said repeatedly, not going to happen. Well, the latest foreclosure stats are supporting my assertion. Uh, according to Adam Data, there were just over 151,000 foreclosure filings in 2021. That's down 29% from 2020 and down over 95% from the very peak of foreclosures in 2010, back when there were over 2.9 million foreclosure filings. In fact, 2021 has the lowest foreclosure rates in recorded history, amounting to 0.11% of all housing stock. At its worst in 2010, foreclosures amounted for about 2.9% of housing stocks. We have a very healthy housing market. And to be clear, a foreclosure filing does not mean that the home is going to end up being sold at auction. A filing occurs when a mortgage falls 30 days late or more, um, but there's a lot of time to stop that process before an actual trustee sale. A typical non-judicial sort of standard foreclosure can take 120 days at its very quickest, but the average is closer to about six months. With so much equity in our local market, it's most likely that a home in foreclosure will be sold prior to a trustee sale, unless there's some you know, really huge complications and things, which does happen. Um, in other news, inflation is starting to curb spending. The consumer price index came in hot for December as expected at 7% for the year. And the producer price index, PPI, was even higher at 9.7% for the year. PPI is what's called a leading economic indicator, and it reflects prices that manufacturers pay for, for um, components and raw materials. And uh, those higher prices will almost certainly be passed along to consumers in the future. Consequently, retail sales for December were down 1.9%, way, way worse than what was expected. I think you were expect to be down about 0.1%. Um, consumers are starting to spend less you know due to those higher prices that makes total sense you know if you have to spend more for food fuel and everything else well there's just left less money left at the end of each paycheck to buy other things for the week mortgage rates were slightly higher compared to last week we were sort of hoping they'd improve a little bit but they didn't uh, the bond market is continuing to struggle with inflation statistics so here's the national averages for mortgage rates uh, for the week ending January 14th, conventional 30-year fixed rates, 3.57% up from 3.5% last week. 15-year fixed rates, 2.85% up from 2.77% last week. FHA and VA 30-year fixed rates, 3.20% up from 3.1% last week. And jumbo 30-year fixed rates are the only ones that looked a little bit better, 3.23% down from 3.26% um, last week. In other news, um, home equity loan in five days? Yeah, um, if you need to tap some equity in your home to consolidate debts, uh, start that remodeling project, maybe as a down payment on that next property or for anything else for that matter, Homebridge has a new home equity line of credit program that uses AI for processing and blockchain technology, and it's lightning fast. Uh, typical approvals happen within minutes and we're ready to close within five days in most cases. Um, reach out if you would uh, like more information on this. It's a great program. It's a fixed interest rate, so you don't have to really worry too much about interest rates rising. I'll be here and available to answer questions on that or any other uh, issues that come up. I'm always happy to answer those story problems. Just reach out to me, eric at ericismybanker.com, or you can call me anytime, 206 915-3742. Find me on social media to search Eric is my banker. We're listening on our weekly radio show every Saturday at 2 and Sundays at 3 on AM 1590. Have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. See you next week.